boom, 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 ba, ba. Okay, so this seems to be the new game that everyone's started doing, um, and I can totally see why. It's absolutely hilarious. It's called Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Press space. That's what it's called. Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. Press space. Now, I was told um, to do this, and rightly so, by the lovely Sparrow Mella. Um, she's already done three, or in fact four, videos of this. I am going to give it a go. She told me I have to give it a go, so I'm going to give it a go. Right, we've got to start my adventure. Let's go adventure. Between 1830 and 1870, nearly half a million Americans migrated west over wagon trails. This is the story of one party of... Right. Of two something. I missed it. So. This is... Because I'm, I'm playing on her game at the moment, so um, these are the ones that she had last time. I'm going to change these. Sorry. Um, the first one is going to have to be Sparrow, because, you know, Sparrow, in fact, Sparrow Mella. There you go. Okay, she's a fair lady, and, oh god, which one's her? She's probably mostly like, long, long brown hair, there you go. Then we, we've got to keep good old Mac, haven't we? We've got to keep good old Mac. He's a lovely gentleman, fine gentleman, and... Let's make it. It's going to kill me for that. And then finally, we have Richard. Now, Richard, you know who you are, but um, everyone else, there's a lovely, lovely gentleman called Richard who has made some very generous donations um, to me, Storpy. Um, and it's enabled me to buy, you know, new equipment and games and all that kind of thing. So he's really, really helping out my channel. I'm very, very appreciative. So this is the least I could do, putting you in this bloody wagon. So we're going to assume you have an awesome moustache, a big moustache. Are you black? Well, whether you are or not, you've got an awesome moustache. Cool, so we've got Sparamella, Mac and Richard. Let's just get going. They travelled in their trusty wagon. We'll go for the standard completely average. There are others that you can unlock, but um, I don't think Sparamella's actually unlocked any yet. Day one, they set off into the forest. I've got to get used to this. Right, so I fire like that, do I? Okay, seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. They needed to stock up on food for the long journey. Uh, okay, all right. So I believe you're not supposed to hit the skunks. Oh, there's a turkey. Oh, hello. Bloody, jeez, look at this. I've got a shotgun and everything. Oh, I've used it all up. Oh, okay, I ran into a skunk. That's not good. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. Oh, well, we're going to kick their asses. Seriously. Oh, bollocks. There you go. Suck on one of those. Oh, shit. Get some health. Kill them. My goodness, this is actually really difficult. There I was laughing at Sparamella for being shit, but I'm not doing much better myself. Lola, I mean, I wasn't laughing at you for being shit, because you're awesome at this. <coughs> Get that. Oh shit! Come on, Steve. A machine gun armed bandit. Wagon wagon arrived. I need to get rid of this shitty gun, man. Oh, I've got shit loads of it. I have to get really close. That's the only bad thing. Richard died a slow, lingering death after a bullet punch in his stomach, and it started again. Crap. Okay. I need to get rid of this shitty, shitty, shitty gun. It's got no distance on it. There we go. Oh, Sparamella took, uh, left the wagon to look for berries. That's how we control her. Okay, no problem. Okay, she's getting berries. Lovely. Get all the lovely blueberries. On her way back to the wagon, Sparamella noticed an entrance to a cave. She decided to investigate. Ooh, a creepy cave. What's in here? It was very dark inside. Nah, no shit. Upon lighting a torch, she found it was filled with giant bats. Oh, superb. So fucking perb. Brilliant! Oh, come on, 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 There we go. Spiromallow ran from the cave back to the wagon. They ate a filling meal of rabbit stew. Mmm. Oh, look at them. Good old Mac and Spiromallow. They better not be... They better not be having a little thing by the campfire, if you know what I mean. Spiromallow had the brilliant idea to try to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Ford or jump? I'm sorry, Mac, by the way. I just couldn't resist. I really couldn't resist. You made a joke about your hair once, I think, years ago, and I thought, oh, I've got to do it. Right, anyway. Should we jump the river or ford it? What's fording a river? I guess that means you swim through it. I think I saw Sparamella swim through it on her playthrough. So, yeah, we'll ford it. They made the probably wise decision to ford the river. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Lovely. There were boulders in Te River. 
Oh shit, there's Frogger. Frogger! Oh, you stupid shit, Steve. <laughs> there were a lot of boulders in the river. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm so bad. I thought I knocked Sparrowmella off the wagon and she drowned. Sorry, Sparrow. There we are. Something, something, something boulders. Ah, easy. You can do that. Finally, Mac reached the other side of the river. Mac, it's all down to you now, my friend. It's all down to you, sir. Mac entered into the Great Plains on day 21. Oh, it's going to be a battle, isn't it? Mac came across a large herd of buffalo. Superb. Right, I'm guessing I have to avoid the buffalo because they're pretty meaty, hefty bastards, aren't they? Oh, I could have done with that help. Get one of those. Oh, that is an awesome weapon. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Shit. Oh my goodness! Alright. Oh, Mac was gored by a bison and died. Oh dear. The party's journey ended there with the bison quietly grazing on Mac's remains or something. I'm too slow at reading that. I'm going to play again. I'm just going to have a quick vitamin C slurp. I reckon I can do better than that. I reckon I can do better than that. Yeah. We'll keep the same people. Um, yeah. We'll keep the same people. Hopefully I'll keep you all alive better this time, because I won't get a shitty shotgun where I can't actually shoot anyone unless I get really close. Okay, let's go for it. Arr. Seeing some animals in a clearing, they decided to stock up on food. Lovely. Let's hurry ahead. love turkeys, they're so funny. Oh my goodness, there's a skunk. Oh, that was terrible. A posse of bandits interrupts. Oh, the hunt! I'm not ready, I'm scratching my face. What's going on? Go. <laughs> well. Yeah, it's much better with this gun. What's that? Ah, oh, brilliant. A good shotgun. <laughs> Machine gun armed bandit wagon arrived. Shit. Oh my god. Stop being shit, Steve. Okay, they're going up, it's fine. Get them. Richard left the wagon to look for wild berries. Go on, Richard. Collect those berries. The sparring Mel is nearly dead. On his way back to the wagon, Richard noticed an entrance to a cave he decided to investigate. That's the same as before. Now, this is a randomly generated game, guys, so it's not always the same each time. But so far, I'm doing quite well. It was still very dark inside. Oh, we're found with filled the giant bats again. That's alright. Oh my god! Okay, that was a waste of all of those bullets, but never mind. Come on, shoot the freaking bat. <laughs> Richard ran from the cave back to the wagon. They reached a river crossing. Okay. <sighs> Sigh. Mac had the brilliant idea to try and jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Mac, what is it with you and wanting to jump over the river? We're fording the bastard. Yes, they made the probably wise decision to ford the, ford the river. Right, if we get boulders again, there were boulders in the river. That's better. Okay, there were a lot of boulders in the river. Oh, shit. Oh, I can shoot them. Awesome. That's better. See? Use the vertical, Steve. Don't be afraid to explore the vertical. Oh my god, what the hell? Um. Lol, you are kidding, lol. Surely. Don't call me Shirley. Oh my god, sorry, Mac. Finally, they reached the other side of the river. Oh, that's alright, we're still all intact. I could do with some help. They entered into the Great Plains. This is exactly the same as my last playthrough. A large herd of buffalo. No problem. That's fine, man. It's fine. We'll just keep at the top. Keep at the top. Sparamella. Oh, shit. Was gored by a bison and died. Brilliant. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Now I know what to expect this time. Lovely. Ah, oh, good, we got some health. Sorry, Sparrow, for killing you, but, you know, sorry. Oh, shit. Shit. They noticed an injured falcon to the side of the trail. An animal lover, Richard, decided to help. Ah, oh, Richard, you nice person. Should we help? Oh, God, I'm scared. He's going to gore him. 
Coyotes wanted to eat the injured falcon. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Get the hell. Fuck off. How many bloody coyotes are there? Right, we're fine. Meet me. After recovering from its injuries, the falcon was a useful hunting partner. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Uh, that is absolutely hilarious. It's just picking up thousands. Impressed by its abilities, I decided to carry the Falcon in place of their pistol. You unlocked the wild. Well, there you go, Sparrow. I've unlocked this for you. I'm buying this game, by the way, guys. In the distance, they saw a woman in a red dress walking alone. Mac left the wagon to see if she needed help. Mac, you chivalrous guy. Oh, she didn't need help. It was a bandit ambush. Bandits on horseback swarmed in from all directions. <laughs> Mac died of a bullet in the face. Brilliant. Sorry, Mac. Mac did not return to the wagon, so Richard left without him. Richard, it's all down to you now. Richard reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. What am I going to do? Jump it? Richard had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, Richard could go around. Uh, should we go around or swim? It's too deep to th ford. Can you swim in a wagon? Or can we go around? I'm going around. Richard made the probably wise decision to take the desert path around the river. Yes. Richard entered into the desert. Oh, it's all dry here. Got my falcon, though. That's all I need. Richard came across an experienced traveller named Richard. What? Richard offered to join Richard's party as a guide in exchange for 58 animal hides. Ah. Oh. Well, we can hire him, but then we've got two Richards. We've got Black Richard and White Richard. Richard accepted Richard's offer. He, did, he needed all the help he couldn't get himself. Blue hair. They avoided venomous snakes. Or did they avoid them, though? That's the question! Ah, oh, incorrect. They did not avoid venomous snakes. They got owned by venomous snakes. Oh, right. I forgot I don't have a... Bloody hell, these snakes are difficult. The man-eating giant scorpions were even more deadly. Oh, no! Come on, Falcon. You can do better than this. Seriously. Oh, Richard. Richard's gonna die. Oh my god, they are deadly. They run straight for you. Oh. Get away. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, and the snake. You unlocked just desert survival mode. There you go, Sparrow. I've unlocked something else for you. I'm so buying this game. Everyone else should as well. They noticed some supplies on the sand on the side of the trail. Richard left the wagon to investigate. Oh, hello. Yes, please. Don't mind if I does. Richard then realised why the supplies were left there. He was in the giant ant. <laughs> the giant ant. Oh no, no, I could do without this. Oh yeah, love the weapon, by the way. Can't see any of the freaking ants, but I love the weapon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Richard Baron ran back to the wagon. They entered a mountain pass. Richard and Richard, brilliant. A tale of two Richards. <laughs> Richard noticed a sword on the side of the trail. He couldn't resist picking it up. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, I've got it. Oh, what, really? Turns out the sword was some kind of ancient magical thing, so a bunch of ninjas <laughs> wanted it back. Oh, this is silly! Die, die, die. Well, these ninjas aren't very good. I'm a lot better than you, ninjas! No! No, 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 Ah, oh, damn it. Richard was killed by a ninja! And they all bukkake his corpse. When Richard did not return to the wagon, Richard left without him. So it's fake Richard left. Turns out on a nearby mountain was on fire. Okay. Richard rushed to avoid the approaching lava. Ah, oh, shit. Animals, too, ran from the lava in panic. Oh, man. Well, let's kill all the animals, basically. If I could talk with the animals. Wolves burning alive ran out from the lava flow, which I'm assuming I'm supposed to avoid. Ah, oh, shit. A wolf on fire ripped Richard apart with its burning hot somethings. I missed it. The party's journey ended there in lava and burning wolf fur. <laughs> oh, my God. This game is insane. Well, there you go, guys. I've been playing on Sparrow Mellor's version of this game, but I'm about to buy it now, because it's, I think it's £1.99, which is probably about $3. Um, I mean, how worth it is that? It's different every time, and you can all make bloody awesome playthroughs of it. Make a playthrough and put it as a response to this video, guys. I'd love to see you all have a go. Um, right, now I'm going to go and take some Valium to calm down. Whew. No, not really. Anyway, enjoy, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.